Hello students, today we will start our new topic which is called simple microscope. So basically we know that microscope is used to see the small objects very clearly. So it used a convex lens of short focal length and with the help of that we can get a magnified image. It's a very simple uh, microscope. So let us go for that. <clears throat> Basically, it uses a convex lens of short focal length and with the help of that uh, we can see a magnifying image of a small object and this magnifying glass is called a simple microscope. Here only one lens is used and uh, that is of very small focal length. Now, what is the principle? When a small object is placed between the optical center and the focus of a convex lens, its virtual, erect, and magnified image is formed on the same side of the object. The lens is held close to the eye. The lens is held close to the eye and the distance of the object is adjusted till the image is formed at least distance of distinct vision from the eye. And we know that least distance of distinct vision from the eye, it is 25 centimeter. So for a normal eye, least distance is 25 centimeter. Now how it works? So let us take a lens. It is basically a biconvex lens and it is a very thin lens. And let me take, this is the focus of this convex lens. And already we discussed that we will take a convex lens of small focal length. So this is a convex lens of small focal length. And a small object, a small object, we need a small object because our target is to see how much magnify image can we observe with the help of this lens? So we need to take a small object. So AB is a small object and this object is kept in between optical center of the lens and focus of the lens. So now the ray of light will start moving from head of the object and it will go undeviated after passing through the optical center. Another ray of light which will go parallel to the principal axis falls on the lens and then deviated by the lens. So in the right side, these two rays, they cannot meet each other. So there is no chances of formation of image in the right side of the lens. So if we reproduce both the rays of light in the back side, then they appear to come from a point. And that point will be the point of image formation. So finally, we got the image A dash B dash. So it is enlarged, virtual, and erect image. So in this way, we got a virtual, erect, and enlarged image of the object AB. Now, let us take the distance of the object from the center of the lens, it is U and image is formed at least distance of distinct vision, which is taken as capital D, which is equal to 25 centimeter. So image is formed at a distance of 25 centimeter from the optical center of the lens. And already we know that the focal length is represented by F and it is also measured from the optical center. So U is the distance of the object from the optical center, F is the focal length, and D is the distance of the image from the center of the lens. Now, our target is to find out the magnifying power of the lens, so let us go for that. Magnification power of a simple microscope. So how we can define that? Basically, it is defined as the 
ratio of angle subtended by the image at the eye when formed at the near point to the angle subtended by the object at the eye when the image to be at the near point. So basically we have two angles. One angle is called alpha. So alpha is that angle formed by the formed by the object when seen through the when seen directly with the help of eye. There is no lens between the eye and the object. So when there is no lens between the object and the eye, then alpha is the angle subtended at our eye. Now, when the lens is placed in between the object and the eye, then beta is the angle subtended by the image. Beta is the angle subtended by the image at the eye. Now, ratio of these two angles, that is called the magnifying power. So basically, uh, we will take the ratio, we will take beta upon alpha. So before that, before taking beta upon alpha, let us take uh, the focal length of the lens. So lens, we know the lens formula, one upon f is equal to one upon v minus one upon u. So according to the sign convention, u is negative, v is also negative, and f is positive. F is positive. So when V is negative, U is also negative, and F is positive. So the final formula becomes one upon U is equal to one upon F plus one upon V. Now we know in case of a single lens, magnification can be written as M is equal to v upon u. Now because image distance is capital D, so v is replaced by d, so we get small m is equal to capital D upon u. So small m is equal to capital D upon u, now replace the value of 1 upon u by 1 upon f plus 1 upon v, so m that comes out equal to uh, d upon f plus d upon v. So now we have two special cases when v is equal to d means image is formed at least distance of distinct vision. So putting the value we will get m is equal to 1 plus d upon f. m is equal to 1 plus d upon f. This is the case when v is equal to d means image is formed at least distance of distinct vision, which is equal to 25 centimeter. In, this, in that case, magnification comes out equal to one plus d upon f. Now let us take the second case. When the image forms at far point and far point is at infinite, so v becomes equal to infinite. So substituting the value of v equal to infinite, so we get m is equal to d upon f. So, so we got two magnification. One magnification is equal to one plus d upon f and the other magnification is equal to, uh, this is m is equal to one plus d upon f in the case when v is equal to d and m is equal to d upon f when v is equal to infinite. So let us take some multiple choice questions. The image formed in simple microscope is erect, virtual, and diminished, wrong. Erect, virtual, and enlarged, this is right. So option B is right. The magnifying power of a simple microscope when the image formed at far point, m is equal to d upon f, m is equal to 1 minus d upon u, m is equal to 1 plus d upon f, m is equal to, so option A is correct. The magnifying power of a simple microscope when the image is formed at D, when image is at D, so option C is correct, option C is correct, right?
so okay students that's all for this lecture and uh, in our next video we will start compound microscope and we will find its magnifying power thank you